so good morning my dear students today let me discuss about optical storage media in multimedia subject briefly let's overview about compact disc conventional magnetic data carries in the form of hard disk or removal discs are traditionally used in computers as secondary storage media this offer low average access time and provide enough capacity for general computer data at an acceptable price however audio and video data even compressed form place heavy demands on available storage capacity the storage cost for continuous media is thus substantial unless other data carries are used optical storage media offers high storage density at lower cost the audio compact disc has been commercially successful in the consumer electronic industry has the successor to long playing records and is now a mass produced product so we have the different kinds of magnetic opticals compact ticks right ones and also extended architecture read only memory digital audio and we have a digital audio in the read ones and write ones by taking help of the optical bases and as well as the magnetic optical bases we let me go about is what the history of compact disc how it was came to the market the video disc was first described in 1973 in the form of the video long play so far the video disc has a read only medium has not been commercially successful although a large number of different right ones optical discs of different sizes and formats have been marketed about 10 years almost in the time of 1982 or 83 the compact disc digital audio was introduced this optical disc digitally stores audio data in high quality stereo the compact disc digital audio specification drawn up by nv philips and the sony corporation was summarized in the so called red book standards again we have the next the extension of compact disc storage of computer data was announced by nv philips and sony corporation in 1983 and introduced to the introduced to the public for the first time in november 1985 the compact disc read only memory is described in the yellow book which later led to the ecma 119 standard this standard specifies the physical format of compact disc and you will be come to know the more what we how the physical structure of the compact discs in 1987 or in the 1986 at the time nv philips and the sony corporation announced compact disc interactive this is the one of the most important uh, revolution in the compact disc interactive uh, which will be makes to be read the data and also which helps to be store the data described in the green book which includes a additional to the cd technology a complete system description in 1987 digital video interactive was presented publicly the primary emphasis in dvi is an algorithm for compression and decompression of audio and video data stored on a cd rom in 1988 the compact disc read only memory extended architecture was announced by nv philips sony corporation and microsoft produced a specification of digital optical data carrier carriers for multiple multiple media which was published in 1989 at the cd rom conference in anaheim california since the, the beginning of 1990 we have seen the development of the compact disc write ones and rewritable compact disc magneto optical both specified in orange book 
So additionally, uh, beginning of 1995, there has been the rewritable and erasable CD rewritable also specified in the orange book. At the beginning of 1996, efforts to develop compact disc with higher storage densities began. This was initially carried out in a preparatory fashion by individual firms. At the end of 1996, the firms joined to form the DVD committee. The first DVD specification became available by the middle of 1996 and 1997 and the first devices by the end of 1997. This is the, the brief, the history of, of storage media. And now let me discuss the more important point of the physical structure of optical disc. In optical storage media, the underlying principle is that information is represented by using the intensity of laser light reflected during reading. A laser beam having a wavelength of 780 nm nanometer can be focused to a resolution of approximately 1.5 mm or 1.5 or 1. .1. In a polycarbonate substrate layer, there are depressions called pits corresponding to the data to be encoded. The area between the pits are called lands. So in this diagram, you can see that the optical view through a um, uh, different way of uh, pits and lats, how it was stored on the data track. And all the pits and lands are represented systematically in the middle of this optical storage area. The substrate, substrate layer is smooth and coated with thin, a very thin a reflective layer. The laser beam is focused at the height of the reflect layer form the substrate level. The reflected beam thus, thus, thus a strong intensity at the lands. The pits are 0.12 remain from the substrate surface. Laser light hitting pits will be lightly scattered. That is, it will be reflected with weaker intensity. The signal waveform shown systematically at the uh, uh, on the diagram how the laser beam will be get scattered by taking help of uh, bits method. Bits method. An optical disc consists of a sequential arrangement of bits and lands with a track, and you can see that on the surface of the optical discus. In contrast to floppy disk and other conventional secondary storage media, all the information on optical disk is placed on one track. The stored information can thus be played back at a continuous data rate, which has particular advantage for continuous data streams such as audio and videos. The track in the form of spiral. So where uh, where we can able to see, uh, see that in the form of a spiral and all the pits and lands will be available on each track. Series of pits and lands in the substrate layer. The track width of the pits is 0 0.6 m and uh, the track which is around uh, 1.6. The most important advantages of the CD over magnetic storage media follows form this measurement along the length of the data track here we can see that 1.66 the bits per human but um, can be stored resulting in the storage of density 10 lakhs bit millimeters with the given geometry uh, this is uh, nearly correspond to 16000 tracks per inch so when we're going to be comparing with the floppy disk around 96 tracks per inch. Uh, lines almost totally get it will be reflecting and uh, pits will be get scattered. And you can see that the high density of data. So 
almost 1.66 data bits for each track. Uh, track per inch, 16,000. And uh, so protection, it will be available ultimately. So there is, uh, it's a long-term storage due to a, it's a very rigid plastic. So it, even though if it is scattered uh, by something, or uh, if it is dust, uh, dust on the surface, we can make it a bit clear and also we can able to work out more. So it's a long-term storage capacity and uh, the, the crashes will be get uh, very, uh, you know, very less time uh, because uh, the substrate layer is very, very strong enough and it will be protective always. Motion pictures are frequently modulated on the video disc and the audio signal is mixed with modulated video signal. Uh, this is a very simple, the method of how uh, the data going, going to be get record. The important information of the mixed audio video signal is temporal sequence of the zero transitions. Each zero transition corresponds to a change between a bit and land on the disk. Such changes can occur any time and is returned to the disk in non quantized form. That is, the paint length is quantized. This method is thus time continuous and characterized as analog. The storage of audio. So, the compact disk digital audio was developed jointly by NV Philips and the Sony Corporation of Storing Audio Data. The basic technology of the compact disk digital audio was developed by NV Philips. So, it gives the, the compact disk the physical characteristics. So around the CD have a diameter of 12 centimeter are played at the constant linear velocity. The number of rotation per time unit thus depends on the radius of the data currently being sampled. The spiral shaped CD track has approximately 20,000 windings. In the comparison, Lee LP has only approximately 850 windings. And here we have the audio, rate, audio data rate calculations. The audio data rate can be easily be derived from the, the sampling rate of 44,100 hertz and the 16-bit linear quantization. The stereo audio signal is pulse code modulated. And you can see that how the data rate will be going to get calculated. The 16, in 16 bits divided by sample values into two channels into 44,100 sample values divided by signal into channel. That's equals to 14,11,200 bits per second. That is equivalent to 1,76. Uh, sorry. 1,764 1, kilobytes. And you can see that the quant quality, absolutely there is no doubt. The six decibels fiber bits, 16 bit quantization, ultimately is going to be giving a much uh, quality uh, in the form of uh, audios and as well as the uh, videos in the both, in the motion, when the, when the picture comes in the motion, so it's going to be calculated with the terms of audio and as well as video. So playback, the time approximately 70 to 75 minutes or 80 minutes. So this is the, the capacity of the ratio, the way of how we can able to calculate by taking help of the audio data rates. The capacity is very, very simple uh, to calculate uh, because if you take the approximately 74 minutes, and uh, we have a 14 lakhs 11,200 bits per second. Um, the simple calculation 74 minutes into 14 lakhs 11,200 bits per second. That's equivalent to the 
number of bits around it will be get the 626 bits around uh, equivalent to 747 megabytes. Uh, this is the student the some of the basic idea for, for how we can able to uh, go through the optical storage of futures which helps us to understand what is the basic structure of uh, data storage format. Thank you one and all.